This is the intro to my video. Please subscribe. Woo! Hey everyone, welcome to Resin Crafting with Chris Collected. Today we're continuing the Pokemon series and we got one of my favorite Psyduck and Pikachu. And then I realized I hadn't actually done Bobasaur, the 3D one yet. So we're gonna do that today too. I'm still using my T Expert Crystal Clear Epoxy Resin. This is a one-to-one -one solution. So we're gonna be doing a total of four ounces. So that's two ounces of A and two ounces of B. Now let's get that all mixed up in my new mixer. This is from Resiners. It is a dual head automatic mixer. So I'm spinning it up now and there we go. This thing's really nice. The best feature of it by far is I can walk away. I can go, I can have my station clean. I can clean my hands, clean everything, and then get ready to, you know, mix my colors in and eventually pour and not have it as big of a mess. I recommend it if you haven't tried it yet. It's really good. It has its problems, but I mean, overall, I'd give it a four out of five and a definite recommendation. <laughs> And those paddles are really easy to clean. All right, so first up, we have some yellow mica powder. Next up, some shiny gold glitter. Shimmering gold. Ooh. I put a whole bunch of that in. Next up, this is this like holographic type nail art. You know, just more glitter in bits. That's all we're gonna put in that first one. And today we're gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm just gonna split it 50-50. The other one's gonna have this blue metallic, like a little bit holographic color to it. I'm only gonna put a little pinch of that in. After all, they're both yellow objects, but I wanted just a little bit of extra color in there. And this one's pretty unique. It's almost like fuzzy. I'm not really sure what it is, to be honest. But some kind of powder. Kind of a bronze powder. And then my little soccer flowers that I've done a bunch. And then I'm gonna pour the rest of the clear in there. We'll leave a little bit on the side, just in case I don't get my uh, proportions right and I'm, I can always add a little more clear in. I tried using that dual head mixer for these smaller cups, but it ended up just being a little bit too big. So I switched to hand doing it. Okay, so th today we have a little bit of a, a whoopsie. So I was trying to add some Elmer's glue in and knocked it over. <laughs> so I went and cleaned it up real fast and let's get to the pouring. The Elmer's glue was supposed to help to keep all the little soccer flowers floating, but I did not mix it properly and I just don't think I used it right. And so ended up not really working that way, but that's all right, we'll, we'll try it again in the future. Next up, we have the Pikachu.
All right, now that those are poured, I'm gonna take the rest of the clear and those two containers and mix them together. That way I can make the Pokeball and do the Bulbasaur as well. The Bulbasaur will not be completely filled, but the Pokeball definitely will. About halfway through, I did uh, pick it up and shake it around. Let's get all the rest of it and finish pouring. Get all those last little bits in there. It won't be filled up this time, but we'll make sure to uh, finish it up next time. <laughs> what a mess. Gotta subscribe to them all. Subscribe to me. Bye. <laughs> all right. Now for the demolding. So as I said previously, this one is not full yet, about four fifths full. So we're just going to do a little bit more color in the next one. And I've already demolded it. It looks great. Can't wait to show you guys next week. As always, we do a Pokeball to match. So this time we had yellow Pokemon. And so we did a yellow Pokeball. You really see that gold shimmering glitter there. I love the frosted effect that this has. Look at that one. Look how shiny that one is. You can really see all the different types of glitter that I put into it and then that mica powder really worked well. Next up, my favorite, Psyduck. As you can see, the soccer flowers look great, but they did sink all the way to the bottom. The Elmer's glue, I'm not sure. I have to look up that technique. Because this one, maybe it was just a little too heavy for it. And then the kind of fuzzy powder didn't work. I'm not really sure what that powder was. So the Psyduck, I think I'm gonna have to make another one of, but I don't mind. I was already planning on making more Psyducks. And then that one is not complete, so we'll see you next week. Which one do you like better? Put in the comments below. And then I'll have a bunch of images loaded up and I'll see you next week.